Hello, welcome in this lesson um, for Charisma. Uh, I will present myself, but this is uh, the module uh, 11, uh, Stalk, Order and Community. Assistant group in event of heritage emergency in Normandy, presentation of setup and work. So first, uh, a small presentation of myself. My name is Anthony Zraski, a French historian and specialist of health management during crisis on heritage, cultural heritage. I was a student in Caen University, history, uh, history department. After three years of university, I follow my education with uh, master degrees on heritage, cultural heritage and history. First, I have done uh, some historian work uh, on research and research on French uh, military navy, navy evolution and after that my uh, specialty was protection of cultural heritage and vulnerabilities during wars. During those years, uh, I developed skills and better understanding of hidden network as black market of art. This network is the third largest illegal network in the world, a link to the organized crime. Later, I will speak about uh, this kind of network like this, network like this, uh, hidden mechanism with uh, who destroyed uh, heritage around the world. Now uh, I will present uh, you the GASP, the task force dedicated to help patrimonial institutions during crises like fire or flood. This project uh, takes place in uh, Normandy, a little part of France. A little part of France in the north of uh, the country. We are known uh, in the world because uh, we are the land where American and allies uh, land during World War II and win against Nazis. Uh, you can understand that our territory is marked uh, by history and destruction. Largest, uh, large part of cities in Normandy uh, were bombarded. All people and generations remember the lost. In my city, uh, we, lost, we lose uh, the oldest uh, university of Europe, uh, dated to uh, 1422. Uh, we lost also a castle and one of the biggest museums in France. So, the creation of the GASP. Our name, GASP, in French means Group d'aide en cas de sinistre patrimonial. You can see the logo uh, right on the screen. We can translate at assistant group in event of heritage, cultural heritage disaster. The GASP is a good example um, of outside actor who try to advance in understanding risk and bringing the right method in the field of risk management. The project aims uh, to organize and help any heritage institution that would need uh, assistance and emergency preparedness and who participate in the initiatives. The GASP uh, started in uh, 2020. 17. After a turning point in Normandy, a huge disaster shocked every institution charged uh, of cultural heritage, like Notre Dame, an international event. So, a sad event uh, appeared appear, uh, in uh, 2017. One day, uh, in, the, in the end of the day, near of the coast uh, in an island, a storm began to emerge. The thunder struck uh, on the roof uh, of the local uh, museum. The museum was the uh, Tatiu, uh, that's its name. The building burned into the ground uh, with it all the painting and some of them was a painting of the Louvre. That was a huge devastation for the personnel and 
local institution. All institution was like, okay, if that happened in uh, our collection, if uh, we are a bit, uh, we are hit by a local disaster, how can we do, uh, how can we save our collection? In that time, nobody was prepared. During this disaster, our equip uh, went to help the museum because we know every, uh, very well uh, the team of the museum. After this day, uh, we think uh, we think uh, together to have a better response uh, to emergency and how we can prepare all institutions in Normandy uh, uh, as that one. Uh, if one more, one more disaster strike uh, this time. So um, you need to understand how it's possible to create a group like that. I will present you uh, my institution. All the gap, uh, all, all the gasp uh, can have a reaction in Normandy. The main key to uh, complain Comprehension is a local presence, local contact. The project is uh, led by two institutions, La Fabrique de Patrimoine and Normandie Livre et Lecture. My institution, La Fabrique de Patrimoine, it's a public institution with three branches. First, we study ethnology, intangible heritage, knowledge of work and know how, for example, a fisherman uh, describe every skill for fishing or driving a whole boat, or a, a carpenter uh, making the roof uh, of cathedral in medieval times, or just how people lived in certain area of Normandy. We have created a festival a film festival specialized on ethnology, books about research on the subject, many videos and records uh, with elders, um, veterans of French war. Second branches of the, uh, of the fabric uh, is museum network. This, uh, this one, um, is one of the strengths of the GASP. We assure a network with who gather all museums in Normandy. The main role is to meet all the professionals and build a mutual understanding and help uh, on daily professional questions like how to welcome classes in museum, which display case by, or how to popularize um, scientific content. This is one of the biggest local network in Europe for a museum, more than 100. Third and last branch is uh, the laboratory, laboratory of uh, laboratory of uh, conservation for collection. You can see a different picture of it. We make a restoration for museum specialized in um, painting. We have a big workshop for scientific picture and X-ray analysis for archaeologists. And in this bunch, we have the GASP. The second institution, institution is uh, simpler. This is Normandy Livre Lecture. It is a public institution dedicated to the world of the book or to help others to access to read and how to protect all books. Because we have a lot of uh, ancient books in uh, our church or uh, abbeys, cathedrals, university, ancient religious school, and uh, historic monuments. You can see uh, the Mont Saint-Michel uh, in Normandy. So, the work uh, of the GASP. 
We have a perfect vision in terms of risk management in our territory. Normandy department and we help more than 100 institutions with fire uh, yes, with a fireman unit. In the event of a disaster, the people in charge of cultural heritage uh, collections uh, often find themselves helpless and isolate, lacking uh, technical, material, human, and organization uh, assistance. We have initiated the creation of a network bringing together museums, libraries, and archive services in order to united, uh, unify professional around common organization and the safeguarding of cultural heritage in event of disaster like fire, earthquake, or storm. Our goal uh, are to mobilize uh, in the event of emergency, uh, create a list of people and uh, or uh, institutions that can help provide stocks of emergency equipment, for example. We made presentation days of subject like risk management or to contact fire unit, sensibilization on risk, and uh, the question of what is the risk or to prevent them upgrading a building, their life at work, conservation, etc., etc. And we made a lot of training course to improve the quality of the intervention during crisis with firemen. The main key is to prepare with uh, is to prepare them uh, a document. This document named PSBC in French. This is uh, a plan for a softage cultural heritage. It's made up pens, pictures, list of collection uh, to safeguard and how to uh, evacuate. And also how to stabilize a collection in time. This document is mouse of preparation to have the perfect and simple uh, operational file. Different scripts are imaginated and the adaptation of the team, the museum team, is the main result. So the last part is uh, intervention. Mainly, uh, we are a group made for intervention. Help institution who need basic help during disaster. I'm in charge of training our team. We are all good for intervention in and uh, involved in museum or archive services in crisis. We take all position during a crisis, uh, evaluation, evacuation, restoration, and coordination. We prepare specific equipment and vehicle. Uh, we need to be operational every day and every hour. To simplify our institution, uh, our intervention, we have uh, forms and cards, method to receive call, form uh, an, a team, deploy help, help and have um, a huge network in Normandy to provide all materials, all equipment demands. And for this time of work, we need to know how to speak with firemen, vocabulary, methods, and process. This is a daily work uh, to always have the same lane or discussion with them, and mainly uh, in operational field. The gasp is like a bridge between these two worlds, the worlds of institutional uh, cultural heritage and firemen. For the second part and last part, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.